that, we see that Go has support uh, for Unicode. So if I'm doing uh, go run abc.go, uh, this is going to print it out. So the string itself, um, the, the arrows on the edges are um, Unicode, and this is fine. Uh, because I'm going to have a lot of printing, I'm going to prefix them so we can see which one is which. Okay, by the way, it's not all, it's not limited to the strings. Uh, you can also have Unicode identifiers. Uh, that's how long I remember it. Okay, and it, uh, so this is going to work as well. Uh, I highly recommend that, uh, don't do that, okay? Uh, it's uh, confusing. Uh, it's hard for people to find out the Pi character on their keyboard, which my keyboard doesn't have. Uh, uh, but uh, in some cases, it might be helpful. The most helpful case that I saw that sometimes uh, you're taking a mathematical, uh, uh, translating some mathematical formula from, uh, from an article or something into code, and you like it to be as close as possible to the article. So uh, what you're doing is you're, um, you're using the same letters instead of writing pi but it's hard for people to search and replace and to find it. So it's, it's a nice thing to, to show, uh, a nice quiz to ask uh, people around. I have that in my uh, Go Brain Teasers um, book, but apart from that, don't use that.